Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to automatically download any pictures or videos sent through Discord to your computer. This tutorial is also going to work for automatically downloading any of the pictures or videos that were in the past on a Discord channel or a private message. You'll be able to get them all and download them at once. This is an extremely convenient tool. It took a while to figure out, so I'm hoping that my hard work can help you guys out. So what we're going to start by making a new folder on our desktop. I'm going to call this Discord stuff. Now we need to make a folder for the pictures to get downloaded to. So right click, new, folder, and we'll call this pictures. Open up the internet browser. In the search bar, type in Discord image downloader. Click on GitHub, which should be the first link. So this is the main repository. This is where I guess all the main files are. For the purpose of this video, we're not going to mess with these, but if you want to inspect the source code or see more of what this program is capable of, you can check these files out here. The README is right there. This program is also able to uh, download pictures and videos from websites like Twitter, GiphyCat, Instagram, Imgur, Google Drive. All that information is going to be in here. To download the program we're going to be using, scroll down a bit until you see Download the Latest Release. Click on that. And for Windows, we're going to be downloading the one that ends in Windows AMD64.exe. Go ahead and click Save, and we're going to save it to our Discord stuff folder. So the first time we run the program, it's just going to generate the config file, then close. In this file, we're going to configure the program to work the way we want it to. In Discord, you're able to edit messages after you send them, and we don't want it to skip any messages that were edited ahead of time. So where it says Skip Edits, we're going to go ahead and set that to False, so that way it'll download all the pictures that were in an edited message. Next, we have to set up the channel ID. The channel ID is the ID number for the specific channel in the specific server you're trying to download the pictures on. This is a per channel basis, so if you wanted to download on more than one channel, you'd have to set up another line in the configuration file like this. There's two ways you can get the channel ID. The first is by going on the Discord in an internet browser, and at the very end of the URL, you'll see a long string of numbers with a slash right before it. We only want that long string of numbers at the very end. If you notice, there's two long strings of numbers. Again, we only want the very last one. The second way you can get your channel ID is by enabling developer mode on your Discord account. This can't be done on the website. It has to be done in the Discord app. To do that, go to your options or your user settings, go down to appearance, scroll down a little bit, and right there, developer mode. Go ahead and turn that on. You'll have to restart your Discord, and afterwards, just right-click on the channel that you want to get the ID from, and at the bottom, it says copy ID. Once you've got the ID, go back to the configuration file where it says channel ID. Go ahead and paste that in there. Make sure there's a space before the equal sign. Next, we got to tell where to download the pictures. Go back to your Discord stuff folder, pictures folder, copy the link, and we're going to paste it over where it says full path to the right of the channel ID you just put in. Now the program is configured to automatically download new pictures and videos at the channel IDs you specified. If you want to download past pictures or videos that have already been sent, we'll have to do one more thing. Go back to the GitHub, back to the main page, scroll down until you see how to download old pictures. Copy the two lines about interactive channels. Go back to the config and paste below the section on channels so it looks like mine. You can set this up by sending a personal message to your separate Discord account. Just send some random nonsense. I have my separate Discord account open inside of my browser. So here we are. In the URL for this personal message, you'll see a channel ID just like before. Go ahead and copy it and paste it into the channel ID section under interactive channels. Next, we have to set up a path file for where the files will be downloaded. I'm just going to set it as the exact same for the one we set the first time. Save it, and there we go. Lastly, we have to set up the authentication. To do that, you put your email here and your password right here. The reason why we have to do this is because because the program is going to log into your account and sit idly while it reads these channel IDs. If it ever receives a picture or a video, it's going to automatically download from the channel ID straight to the file path that you set beforehand. As a side note, if you're concerned about the safety for your account, just put the email and password for your other account, the alt account that you're using to download old pictures. That's what I'm doing. Now I'm going to put my information in, make sure to save, and then we're going to run the program and see how it works. Navigate back to your Discord stuff folder and run the program. You can see that I'm now logged into my alt account. Now I'm going to send a picture to the channel with the automatic downloads. As you can see, the pictures folder doesn't have anything in it yet. I'm going to go back to the internet, copy this picture, and paste it in here. 
As you can see, it just downloaded immediately. That's how you set up automatic downloads. If you want to download a picture from the past, you're going to have to do something else. First, go to the private message that you set up with your alt account and type in the word history. As you can see, it sent me a message asking for channel IDs. Paste the ID or IDs of all the channels you want to download old pictures and videos from. For multiple channels, just put a comma in between each channel ID, like so. Now press enter and watch it download. You can see that it's filling the downloads folder with a bunch of the old pictures from the Discord channel. You can see that it's downloading to the directory you set before. Also, if you notice it says requesting 100 more messages, the way Discord works is it only shows you about 100 messages at a time. Once this program reaches that 100 message limit, it has to load another 100 messages to continue searching for pictures. If you need help or want to know more commands that you can do, just type the word help. And if you want to shut the program down, open the program up and press Control C. You might have to do it more than once. Anyways, guys, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments section. If you like it, subscribe. And that's it. See you next time.